guys, we came to Curiosities here in Texas to find another haunted item. I didn't expect to find my dream item. It comes with its whole story. And did they ever come through? So let's find out if this haunting is fact or fuck. Shipping this shit home, but I'm not taking any chance. <laughs> the camera just died. Gosh. Got that on camera too. Hi, and welcome back to I Bought Things That Are Apparently Really Haunted in Texas, and I don't really feel like this was a good idea. Well, in Texas, I went to an oddity store. Yes, I like odd things. I bought some strange things, and that's okay. Do you want to see one? I'll show you. Dun, 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 dun. Wait, 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 wait. Dun. Dun. It's a taxidermy weasel. What are you gonna do with that, Selena? I don't know. I don't ever know. But I saw it and had a cute face and I wanted it. This will be your new home. And you're my weasel friend and we're the weasel best friends in the land. Me just having a great time. Me just having a great time not thinking that right now I'm about to show you some nightmare fuel. Some that I have lived through that has scared the bejesus out of me. Seven sisters, shield spray. Put it on my body. Put it in my soul. Put it in my lungs. When I was a child, I read one book, one book that scared me, okay? It was a Goosebumps book about a dummy named Slappy. You're giving me, oh, what's the word? Goosebumps. I was so afraid of this book that I would literally lay in the tub with my eyes open. I would wash my hair, soap would get in my eyes. I didn't care because Slappy, I knew, would come over the side of the tub and would pinch my <laughs> boobs or something. I don't know. So here I was in an oddity store walking around. She's like, yeah, there's a haunted doll in here. I wonder if you'll see it, blah, 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 blah. We go around the corner to the other side. I'm like, hmm, I wonder if she'd be here. I feel like the energy's more over here. <laughs> so we walk over there. We see the haunted doll, not this one. That wasn't for sale. But above her <laughs> is what caught my interest. Ready? Are you ready? <sighs> Why do I do this? The box that I packed and shipped home from Texas the very next day, I got the sickest that I've ever been in my entire life and I threw it all the way across the Americas and almost pooed my pants. Okay, then I got home, we ended up having to call an ambulance and I went to the hospital, okay? I don't know if it had anything to do with this. I'm gonna hope not. Now, let me show you the most interesting part. This guy was sitting up on a shelf with, you see that? You see that? Ready to hear Artie's story? Arthur, we call him Artie, has been with us for many years. He has been in our living room as part of our family forever. Back at Christmas time, he told us he had a life to live and that he was moving on soon. It actually made me laugh because I can imagine he has told plenty of women the same old line. He was quite the ladies man in his time. He knew he was good looking and he was right. All the women loved him, but he and his family were basically thugs. He grew up near the factories in London's East End. He ran whiskey on the Thames with his father's freight boat. His brothers operated a bar with a brothel upstairs. His whole family was on the shady side of things. The women fell in love with him. He lived pretty hard and fast for his time. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Back then, there was quite a bit of trouble to be had and he got himself into all of it. He died in a shootout with the whiskey buyer. It was a setup. He knew something was wrong and he will always regret not listening to that sign of bad things to come. Artie has made some enemies in his life, but he feels that he loved more than he lost. We have seen him and heard him knocking on walls and moving around quite a bit, clicking his jaw and tapping his fingers. Artie would do well with a caregiver who understands his lifestyle and will pour him a drink or shuffle him in on a game of cards every now and then. In his words, buy him a girl for the night. I'll be your girl tonight. You have an interesting story and apparently you sound like a very nice gentleman and that I really enjoy. All right, Artie, I'm gonna see if your string works. So, um, nope, not gonna work. Okay, so we have a, we have a missing leg. Sorry about that, sir. We have a taped foot. So you know what? I think you really have been running. You've been running and you have been doing stuff. Apparently you are a nice spirit and that gets me really, really excited, okay? I have some items here that I would like to use to see if you would like to talk to us and tell us your story before we find you a home that's gonna be like super perfect for you, okay? It might look like fallout there, but the holidays are coming in hot. And have you started shopping? Because I haven't, but that's okay because we're gonna give the gift of way this year. Everybody asks me, Selena, your hair is so beautiful. It's so dark, it's so strong, it's so juicy, it's so amazing. How, how? I owe it all to Way. That is my secret. Honestly, their products have helped change my hair and give me the strength that I wanted. It's amazing for Christmas because you're gonna find so many products that are gonna fit people in your life. The three that I love is what I showed you at the beginning. We have the leave-in conditioner, which is multitasking, detangles, hydrates, gets rid of frizz, which is so hard for straight hair. Then I use the detox shampoo once a week. It literally clears up so much buildup from, you know, hard water um, and all the nasty hairspray that I use all of the time dirt, oil, impurities, and then the hair oil is 
the most amazing product I've ever used. It smells amazing and it changes my whole entire world. So make sure that you go to the way, T H E O U A I dot com for 15% off site wide and enter the promo code SpookyBoo to get that 15% off. Thanks so much, Way. So first I have the Magic 8 Ball, right? So let's just ask it. Artie, are you gonna talk to us tonight? We'll try again. Okay, Artie, my sources say yes. Okay, wonderful. All right, I think I need to call Adam because we need you some booze, all right? Hold on. Hey. Hey, Adam, I need some whiskey for Artie. For Artie? Yeah. Oh, no, I thought you meant the chicken for a second. No, we're not gonna give the chicken. He's having a hard enough time. All right, I'll be right there. Thank you. Uh, yes, I paid $225 American. But you know what? I don't know why, I like your energy. I'm gonna be honest, I like the energy of this one. Hi. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna get you some whiskey and then hopefully the whiskey will open you up and we can have a chat. First, you know, COVID vaccine swung right through. Let's check for it. We're sitting at 20 degrees. All right, let's check your chest. We're sitting at 21. What about your 20 degrees? Oh. Hey, guys. Hi. Hey, uh, Artie. I'd like you to meet Gibson. This is Gibson, right? Gibson's finest Canadian whiskey. That's the new news also. You're currently, you were in Texas. Now you're in Canada. Nothing to say. Hey, we're getting there. I'm gonna lay you down while I open your whiskey. Oh, there, yeah, there. Yeah. Here we go. I think you're gonna like it. You can tell someone's put whiskey in his mouth before there's like a dark spot. Mmm, smell that. Yes! And now I have a couple things that I would like to try with you. First, we're gonna do good old fashioned EMF. We're gonna see if you got some vibes. Oh, okay. Let's just leave that there for right now, okay? We checked your temperature. You're doing all right. Doesn't look like you have COVID. <laughs> Let's see what else we got. I think we could use flashlight. So this, you just have to touch it, and if you touch it, it will turn on and off. All right, flashlight is off. Okay, Artie, I read your story. It was super interesting. If that story is real, can you turn the flashlight on for me? All you have to do is give it a little tap, or you know what? Throw me for a loop, lift your arm and top it. Can't lie, might throw you across the room because it might freak me out, but I will really try not to. Were you into a lot of organized crime back in your life? What about ladies? Do the ladies get you excited? Are you not liking the flashlight? Do you wanna try a different, different mode of conversation? I'm all right with that. That, you had going off. Camera couldn't even see it. <laughs> I know my hand's in your pants. I don't really feel like this is consensual, but it's okay. All right, everyone, keep, keep your eyes on that for me. Do you want the Alex box or do you want the Infinity deck? Clack your jaw. Okay, and Infinity Deck it is. I'm gonna give five questions, okay? We're gonna do five questions. I'm gonna shuffle the deck instead. I'm gonna shuffle the deck. Was the other item in the box haunted with a negative spirit? Great news. All right, I just wanted to clear that up. Do you enjoy living your life in this vessel? Is that because you wish that you were passed on? Oh, you don't wanna talk about that. Okay, okay, let's talk about the good old days. Is your absolute favorite drink whiskey? You don't know. Are you having a bad day? Uh, is it because you've been in a box for the past two weeks? Oh. Wait, is it because you're being forced to spend time with me? Am I your type? Wait, you don't wanna be with me, but I'm your type. <gasps> Do I remind you of an ex? Did she break your heart? Oh, did she break your heart? Okay, Artie, I'm, I'm married and I'm never gonna break your heart and I think that we have like a cool thing going. So I'm gonna ask you some intense questions, okay? Do you actually like haunt and move stuff around like they said? Okay. I'm sorry that I pulled you out of a box and I immediately put you on camera, okay? I'm wondering if maybe we give you the Alice box and we get a bit deeper, but I just have a couple questions that I have left. Are you a good spirit? Okay, I kind of got that vibe. You give me like fun vibes. When you go to your new house, do you want it to be like a super active house with like lots of people and they party and they hang out? No. Are you ready to settle down? Okay. Are you looking for like a wife to buy you and be your wife? What was that whistle? Was that you that just made that whistle? I just hear that. Do you want a wife now? No, a girlfriend. Yes. I think that you think I'm cute, but I remind you of somebody, so that hurts you, and I'm, I apologize that, but I'm gonna give you the Alice box, so I'm literally gonna give you the floor right now. This right here is an Alice box. 
it is gonna go on the air. You can literally tell it whatever you want and it's gonna say that word out loud for me. I want you to tell me something pretty interesting about your life that maybe goes along with the story so we know that it's real. And I'd like you to tell me where you could go next because guys, if you want this doll, I'm going to be putting it on eBay because I don't like the responsibility of holding onto haunted items. Okay, I'm gonna turn this on because I have enough weird stuff going on in my life and I'm gonna give you the floor because you're fun and freaky. So here's the things that we know. Your name is Artie, Arthur, but you go by Artie. You grew up in London. You chose this because it looked like you and you found it in your house after you passed away. Now, Edward. first thing, is your name not Artie? I have been misinformed. Now, the story, true to facts, they say that they've had you forever when you lived in their um, living room for 15 years, but it was time for you to move on. about me is it kind of crazy i've been told that my energy is kind of intense it's either intense too high or too low so i'm gonna apologize for that see this is the thing i like going to haunted places i don't like owning haunted things no offense i just get really into the story and then i feel really bad when i leave you on a shelf but i can't take you everywhere you know what i mean so we're gonna find you a really great home yep and you're gonna go with your your piece of paper here i would like to know more about you so were you a whiskey baron dude were you killed at a shootout by a whiskey buyer Crawl. So after you shot, you were crawling away. See, now we're getting to this, so I feel like this story can't be as cheerful because now we're talking about your death. So you got shot and you tried to crawl away. And then you said everything just went black and you woke up in your house years later. Everything had changed. I'm so sorry. That must have really sucked because your whole family was gone. I wonder who Edward was. Wait, did Edward kill you? That's probably it. See, if I died, the first thing that I would say, I would be like, it was Edward. I would try and tell him. Unfortunately, dude. I bet she's waiting for you on the other side. She probably always wondered what happened. Well, she would have known, but I bet she's so curious where you are now. She's probably been waiting up in heaven to see you. You know, I always try to cross spirits over, but I know they can be so used to their vessel and that they like to stay places. Now you're in this new place and I'm gonna get you to another new place and I'm hoping that there's a pretty lady out there that'll buy you, take you home, give you a happy life. I wanna crack out the dowsing rods if you don't mind. Cross for yes and pull apart for no, please. Love. Love, this dude is all about the chicks. You want love? I'm gonna find you love, I promise. Hardy, is Edward the one who killed you? Okay, so you're Artie, you were killed by Edward. Are you ready to settle down with one girl? For real? Be honest with me, I feel like we can talk like friends. Hayes, Ellie. So you were shot in an alleyway. It says it was Hayes, so hazy like fog and then alley. So you were shot in an alley. That's crazy. Are you ready to settle down? Language. Okay, sorry, you're English. All right, mate, it's about 2023 now and I'm, I'm wondering, are you ready to settle down, get a nice girl? Sorry for the accent. Are you ready? Ooh. Yes. You're ready to settle down and you wanna know who. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't know who. I'm gonna put you on this website where I'm gonna auction you off and I'm gonna do something really good with the money probably gonna help with Christmas presents with somebody who can't afford them, to be honest with you. So my goal is I'm gonna list you and say, hey, you need a special lady to be a part of their life, maybe with long dark hair, because apparently that's your type. Is it the long dark hair thing? No? Anyways, I like your energy and it makes me feel good. I'm sorry that I kept you in a box for two weeks. I'm about to turn off this Alice box, but I'm gonna talk to these guys real quick. So if you have anything to say, this is where to say it. Guys, I'm gonna say that this is not fiction. I would say that this is Demand. You demand what? Hot chick? The camera just died. What the fuck? Pine. Oh, and now you're going off like crazy. Hold the... What is going on? You think that's funny? Yeah. You want a drink? Huh? So Artie here says demand. Then the camera yeah. turns... Then the big camera turns off. Yeah. And, that, and now, now he's asked for a cup. Kind of, do you want me to bring a cup? Um... Sure, and I definitely... He what? says group. He wants to party with a group right now. Okay. And he wants a smoke! It says group and smoke! And this is Oliver. 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 Is Oliver... He wants a cup, he wants a group, and a smoke. Okay. Okay, bye. Crossover. Crossover! Okay, guys, the game has changed. He's asking to cross over. Do you know that on, on the other side, Artie, all your friends are probably there. All you have to do is go. I know you're holding on to things, but if there's a white lighter somewhere, sometimes forgiving the bad that was done to you is what's gonna put you over to the other side. Get 
gouge. Yeah, I know you want to gouge his eyes out. I know you want him to pay for what he did to you, but the truth is, karma is real. And if it didn't serve him in that life, it's going to serve him in the next one because people who do bad things like that come back to earth over and over and over again to relive lives because they didn't do things right the first time. He said crossover. Really? Yeah. Is and he I'm trying to. I'm explaining to him. The EMF reader's going crazy. I know. A lot is going on right now. I'm gonna pour you a drink, bud. Look at that. Whiskey on the rocks, probably your favorite. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't have any cigarettes because I don't smoke. I'm just gonna touch this to your lips, okay? I'm oh, sorry, we had a little drip. The truth is that karma is karma. Placate. What does placate mean? That's what I'm trying to do right here to him. I'm telling him that he needs to forgive what has happened to him because it's horrible. And I'm hoping he got the punishment that came to him. And if he doesn't in this life, he will in the next. But your anger towards him is what's holding you here on this earth. The truth is, I'm sure there's so many people on the other side and they want to be with you and they want to spend time with you. And they're all smoking and drinking up in heaven together. Caress. Okay, I know you like the ladies, all right? I know you like the ladies. Yeah, oh. it, look at that, eh? He can right up to red and no one's even over there. Thank God we didn't lose our footage. This is crazy. He's asked for a cigarette twice. Yeah. So um, he kind of has a crush on me. I think he likes girls with long dark hair and I remind him of an ex. Really? Um, so he wanted to talk to me, but he also didn't really want to talk to me. He definitely wants a hot chick to buy him because he's ready to settle down now. Oh, but of course. I, I, here's the thing. I've explained to him how karma works and how he's been stuck here on this plane because he had unfinished business, which unfortunately a lot of that is just realizing in yourself that it's time to move on. So I know it's gonna sound really cheesy and I'm sure you've heard this sometime in your life. Can you give me a sign that you see a white light? Oh, we got some flashes on the thing. I know it can be scary, but I can tell you one thing right now that that white light won't lead to anything but good. Sometimes we're not ready to pass on and that's okay too, but you said crossover. So I feel like you're asking me for help and maybe just no one's explained it to you before. You just had a glass of whiskey. You asked for a smoke twice. I feel like you're asking for your final meal. Cover. Cover. Afraid? Shelter? Maybe he doesn't want to pass through to the light. Maybe he wants to pass back into this world. Do you want to cross over into like the spirit realm or do you want to cross, cross over back into this world? He was a ladies man. I guess he'd probably want to stay. Scared. He's scared. Scared to go to the new one, I'm guessing. Anybody would be. That has to be, can you imagine? You you die, you disappear for 50 years and then you just come back and you're in this doll in this house. I need you to give me a sign because the truth is you don't have to cross over if you don't want to. Unfortunately, I don't think you're ever gonna be a human unless you go back through that. Sometimes you have to go back into that white light to be able to come back to earth as somebody else. What do you wanna do? Do you wanna stay in this vessel? Or do you wanna cross over? Oh EMF, my god. Insane. I don't know. We'll have to rewatch the footage. I don't know if it was when you said It's going like, Adam, it's going like a heartbeat. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I need you to give me a sign. Use the Alice box and give us one word that lets us know if you want to stay or go. Lagoon. Lagoon. Lagoon? <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know. He's literally really funny. He's been playing with us this whole time. Uh, he's like in a lagoon. Oh. Maybe they never found his body yeah, and that's why he's that's, tied here. Yeah. Isn't that crazy that the EMF goes off like crazy and then it just stops? Yeah. I've never even seen those work for much at all. No, me neither. It's time you actually got that part of his story right. Because that wasn't in the piece of paper. And I haven't taken time with him to like really like connect with him. Right. I was just having fun with him. So I think probably the best thing for him is like I said, I'm putting these all up on eBay because I don't like the responsibility uh, of haunted uh, things. And hopefully you can get your hot chick to buy you. <laughs> And you can live your life with her until you're ready to pass over. I'm gonna leave this Alice box on because I wanna know if this sounds like a plan for you while I say goodbye to them, okay? Oh. Phantom. He wants to be a ghost, I think. Phantom? Phantom. Uh. I think he enjoys that. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this little investigation here of Artie, Arthur. This was an interesting one and this was a fun one. I hope that you enjoyed it. This is a series that I don't know how I'm gonna do much of because it scares me. I'm gonna be honest with you. Spooky season is coming to an end, so be safe this Halloween. Don't buy haunted things. Uh, sometimes they're bad, sometimes they're good. I'm guessing here with Artie, it was a good one. And I don't think that he is quite ready to go. So I hope that somebody can give him a new home. But this was very interesting. I'm interested to see your comments below do you own something haunted let me know and don't forget you have a couple more days if you want a spooky read make sure to order hollow on amazon and my merch is down below so 
Till next time, a spooky goodbye. Bye. That was crazy. Really? Yeah. <gasps> Helpful. Aw. We're gonna get you a great home. Got that on camera too. Really? Yeah. Aw.